I'm Jeffrey Bolso with JCB Downhole Vision. I own a uh, mud logging geological company. And we're on a well here for uh, the Kentucky Geological Survey in Carter County, Kentucky. I'm representing them um, uh, looking at uh, some drill cuttings and providing a mud log for uh, the university. I'd like to show you some drill cuttings here that we, uh, as we drill on down, we, we try to get a representative sample uh, generally every 10 feet, uh, depending how fast they're drilling. This is what you call the Lexington limestone. Uh, pretty much the biggest um, commercial boom in the United States was in this limestone. You get a lot of oil in it. You can see how it's a little bit darker and um, it's, a, it's a little dirtier limestone, a little uh, what we call argillaceous shaley. As you get on down, you're going deeper in the hole right here. See where it gets real clean. This is what you call your Black River limestone. It's a very clean, dense, hard limestone. This little break here, you'll see a little shale in here, uh, bentonite actually, in between the Lexington and the Black River. Um, it's called the Pencil Cave, and it's a volcanic ash. Um, at one time it was a volcanic ash, and now um, over time with the heat and pressure, uh, it's uh, what we call a bentonite, and that is uh, in between. As you're drilling down, this is where we are right now. We're currently in the hole at uh, about 3,030 feet. And we went from this Black River into what we call the Wells Creek Formation. And we're actually, um, these are chips from a core. We're actually coring this right now. Uh, we're going to be bringing strips out of the hole as we speak. here and it looks like it is predominantly a shale from 44,315 feet um, with a little bit of limestone and some dolomite in with it and this is currently um, we're currently running a core barrel in to core this section right now um, you can see where the shale came in at. If you look here, we were drilling in a lighter, cleaner um, dolomite section called the uh, Maynardsville dolomite. And then right here is where about 4,200 feet, actually 4,199, we hit what we call the uh, Nolichucky shale. And you can see how it gets a little darker, a little shaley. It's, it's interbedded shale and limestone, so it's not a pure shale. But you can see um, as it gets a little darker here, that's some shale and that's going back into some lime. Like I say, it's, um, it's inner bedded rock. Uh, when doing a mud log, I wanted to show you um, my header page here. This is the header page. Um, everything that's going on in the well, the well name, the area, location, um, the, the uh, size of the hole you're drilling. Um, the casing you have in the hole, all the representatives um, that are out here. Here's uh, 
myself and my uh, mud loggers. Um, again, I'm Jeffrey Bolsa, Rene Ortiz and John Redwine are working with me. Um, Richard Bowersox is the company geologist with Stefan Grab, and, um, and then it has your company foreman, your uh, bosses of the drilling company, the drilling rig, and then uh, as you go on down, so I'm, I'm, I'm plotting everything in this mud log, which I'm going to show you, everything that's going on on this location. Uh, generally, I let them know the uh, lithology, the type of rocks we are drilling through, and a description of those rocks. Um, over here, uh, we let them know how fast we are penetrating through the rock, minutes per foot, how long it takes to drill every foot. We also we have um, gas detection up on the rig. I have a, another computer on the rig where I'm constantly monitoring for um, natural gases, hydrocarbons, um, uh, methane, ethane, propane, butanes, and monitoring uh, the gas levels we're drilling through. Coniferous Clinton, right here. I'm sure I'm going to show you the contact where we had our coniferous dolomite to our red Clinton shale, and that in the drill cuttings was right here. You could see how it's whitish, little cleaner. This is this is a uh, dolomite, and a uh, little. It's a little um, a little sandy. There's a little process in it, and bingo, you go into your red shale, what you call your Clinton. You could